This is the Bengal tiger. Its scientific name is Panthera tigris tigris. It might also be referred to as walking gold due to their expensive trade price. The Bengal tiger's fur can be orange with white spots covered in black streaks. Or in rare cases it can be white colored, blue eyed, with black stripes. Bingo Tiger's roar can be heard in a 2 mile radius. They can weigh up to 550 pounds. Their lane can vary from 9 to 10 feet long. Tigers usually keep to themselves and only group with others when there's a large kill or when they're mating. A group of tigers is called an ambush or street. Their height can be 3 to 3.6 feet at shoulder. Tigers can leave distances of over 6 yards. It can be found in places such as India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, and Burma. Their habitat can range from high altitudes, tropical and subtropical rainforests, and grasslands. The climate in those countries is very similar to the tropical climate of Florida. The temperatures can be as high as 106 Fahrenheit degrees. The gestation period for the Bengal tiger is around three to three and a half months. A Bengal tiger will give birth to around one to four offspring. The offspring of a Bengal tiger are referred to as cubs. A newborn Bengal tiger will weigh around one to three and a half pounds. Cubs are completely blind for the first week of their life. About half do not survive to adulthood. The lifespan of a Bengal tiger is around 15 years in the wild. As adults, they develop amazing night vision, six times greater than humans, allowing them to see perfectly at night. Bengal tigers are excellent swimmers. They enjoy relaxing by rivers, lakes, and ponds. At least one has been recorded to have swam almost 18 miles in a day. They're well known for hunting in the water as well. The Bingo Tiger is able to hunt easily since it can run up to 40 miles per hour. They attempt to take down their prey with a bite to the neck and or throat. The Bengal Tiger's beauty is portrayed worldwide. It can be seen in clothes or in music videos. Bengal Tigers are carnivores. They hunt their prey by stalking them until they catch them off guard. When hunting, they rely on their sense of sight and hearing rather than smell. Bengal tiger's diet consists of things such as deer, wild boar, cattle, buffalo, birds, frogs, younger elephants, monkeys, and goats. Zoologists estimated that every tiger consumes about 50 deer-sized animals every year, which is about one per week. Even when tigers are huge meat eaters, they can go several days without eating after consuming 60 pounds of meat at a time. Although tigers can comfortably fast for several days, they starve more quickly than other animals due to their immense size. The Bengal tiger's 3 inch teeth help them hunt and accomplish this. We need to do everything we can to help the Bengal tiger because it is at the top of the food chain in the wild. They are secondary consumers, which means they eat primary consumers. The Bengal tiger's niche is a vital link to maintaining the rich diversity of nature. When tigers are protected, we save so much more. For example, with just one tiger, we protect around 25,000 acres of forest. The Bengal tiger has been hunted over the past 100 years. Their recordings have been as grand as 100,000.
Foundations such as World Wildlife Federation and Big Cat Rescue are trying to avoid the extinction of the Bengal tiger. They are funded by people who care about the tigers or by the countries trying to avoid the extinction. The organizations raise awareness of the declining population and sometimes fund shelters where the tiger can be safe. All of the reasons the Bengal tiger is endangered are human caused. Tigers suffer from severe loss of natural prey like deer and antelopes. Prey numbers decline because of direct poaching for meat and trade. Deforestation is another factor that affects Bengal tigers' lives, leaving them no space to make shelter or hide. The creation of India's tiger reserves in the 1970s helped to stabilize numbers, but poaching too in recent years has once again put the Bengal tiger at risk. Bengal tigers are poached for their fur and bones. Some people hunt them for fun and view them as a trophy. A tiger skin can be sold as much as $35,000 in the market. Bengal tigers are brutally slaughtered for their heads. They can range from $2,500 to $15,000. In China, poaching tigers or using them for traditional medicine has been legal for many years and is punishable with death. Their tail is used to treat skin disease. The tiger bone is used to treat arthritis. The brain is used to treat laziness and pimples. Bengal tiger cubs are captured and taken away from their mother when they're born to be shipped to zoos. Many of the zoos mistreat the tiger and exploit it to make profit. Their outlook for life has been getting worse over time. There are 2,500 estimated Bengal tigers left in the world today. If we don't act now, they are predicted to be extinct in the next 10 years. There are petitions all over the internet asking for help to stop Bengal tiger illegal trades. Just one click can help. You wouldn't want to live in the world knowing you could have stopped the extinction of an entire species.